What is up, everybody? I'm back with another video, man. Today, we're gonna be getting to what Luka Donnick ate. Uh, bro, why did I just say that, bro? A fight against me, bro. What Luka Doncic just did is unbelievable. By the man, Jimmy Howard, the breakfast NBA videos, no bad. After seven hard fought games, the LA Clippers finally defeat Luka and the Dallas Mavericks. Once again, bouncing them out of the. Bro, he was he was talking real crazy too for them to lose. I ain't gonna lie, but he did his thing though. He did his thing. I can't lie. First round of the playoffs, and although the Mavs still have a lot of work to do before they contend for a title, their future is bright, all thanks to this guy. Because what we just saw from Luka Doncic was nothing short of spectacular. Game after game, this kid was giving two of the league's best perimeter defenders absolute nightmares, averaging. Are you ready for this? 36 points, yeah. 10 assists, yeah. and 9 rebounds a game yeah. on 41% shooting yeah. from 3. Somehow, with his seemingly half-speed, herky-jerky wizardry, Luka put up these all-time, all-world, all-universe type numbers. We are watching this- Bro, no cap. I think a Luka is like a small original like Dirk, bro. They play for the same team and everything, bro. They got like the same weird play style, like bro. Young man build a legacy right in front of our eyes, doing things that only a few players before him have accomplished, and even crazier, he's making it look easy in the process. As much as fans like to pick on them, this Clippers team is no joke. And here's Luca taking his time to methodically pick them apart, play after play. And all of this got me thinking: Is Luka Doncic the best 22-year-old basketball player ever? I mean, of course this wouldn't make him the GOAT. Just the G-T-T-Y-O-O-A-T. -T. A claim like this is pretty bold. Cool. <laughs> so last week on the Ain't Bill Simmons ever podcast, that, Bill bro. mentioned the fact that he truly cannot recall another 22-year-old that was this great. Ever. Luka Doncic is, he's 22 years old. I think from a hoops IQ combined with, um, presence slash talent slash just ability to dissect the other team. He's the most advanced I've ever seen. The fact that he's doing this at the age he's at with the lack of reps that he has, this was his eighth playoff game ever. Leonard and George had two really good offensive games. Um, and they don't really know what they're gonna get from everywhere else, from everyone else in the team. This is an unbelievable subplot with them where they win one playoff series last year. This year, they tanked the last couple games so they could play Dallas and get out of the Lakers division. And meanwhile, they willingly chose to go against Luka, who's the best 22-year-old basketball player of all time. He is. I'm just going to say it. I can't... Yeah, maybe magic. God, now nah, I have to think about this. All right. I'm going to recant. He's in the running for best 22-year-old basketball player ever. Certainly the most accomplished. Certainly the most statistically accomplished. Right, and the sorry, Clippers sorry. were like, that's the guy we want. Well, that was really dumb. The highest praise a young player can get from a man who has just about seen it all. But there is a long and vast history of players excelling the minute they stepped into the league. Magic Johnson had one of the greatest finals performances in NBA history on his way to winning a championship at just 20 years old. At just 21 years old, Shaquille O'Neal averaged 29 and 13 and was already a top 10 player in the league. LeBron dragged the Cavaliers to the finals at yeah. just 22 years old. Kobe had already made two all-star teams and was an NBA champion before he even turned 22. And Dev God. <laughs> Greatest of all time, greatest of all time. And Booker dropped 70 points in an NBA game when he was just 20. So, all things considered, out, that where does crazy. Luka Doncic rank amongst the greatest 22-year-olds to ever do it? Well, it's tough to narrow down and quantify qualities that make a player great. Scoring, passing, defense, leadership, IQ, composure. What matters the most, and how can you take a player's entire game and compare it to another player's? Oftentimes from different eras playing different positions. Well, I think I've got a solid way of going about this. Similar to other ranking videos I've done in the past, we will be finding the best 22-year-old in league history by using these seven categories. Now, we all know that there is okay, no- Okay, we got total points per game, rebounds per game, assists per game. Okay, then MVP votes, leadership, playoff win shares, win shares for 48. That's win shares per 48 value of players. What, wait, what is the 40? I don't know. Okay, all-star appearances and then mark. 
What is a marquee performance? The best game a player has according to game score. Okay. Points would be given to the top 10 players in each category. First place gets 10 points. Okay, okay. A player that accumulates the most points across the whole seven categories we crowned. Okay, okay. No perfect stat, but the combination of a few good stats will give us what I believe to be a pretty accurate result. We will take each player and rank them in each category based on their numbers before their 23rd birthday. The player with the most combined points from all seven categories is what at least I would consider to be the best 22 year old basketball player ever. Now for the sake of this experiment, we are not including seasons that players turn 23 in. So if a player started a season as a 22 year old but soon after turned 23, we are not going to include those numbers. So with that being said, okay. these are the players we will be assessing in our experiments. For the most part, okay, we got KG, Nikola Jokic, 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 Kyrie, CP3, Jason Tatum, Shaq, KD, Russell, Dwight, bro, Dwight, bro, bro, he was on demon timing, bro. I can't lie, Dero's, 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 Dero's. LeBron, Tim Duncan, Luca, Rick Barry. Okay. Moses Malone, Devin Booker, Melo, Kobe, Tracy, Isaiah Dirk. Who who is that? I can't see because the thing the um, are some of the best players. El Elton Who? And Chris Weber, MJ, Cat, Magic. Anthony and then who players of all oh, time Mars, as well Meyer. as some players who really shined in their first few seasons obviously players that enter okay, the league Elton at a young Brand age get a head start that. in their NBA journey but that's the advantage you get when you're 18 years old and good enough to play in the NBA but if you look over these players you'll notice some all-time greats missing Kareem Bird Wilt Hakeem Bill Russell and a lot more and that's because these guys don't even qualify for the title of best 22 year old basketball player ever due to the fact that they all turn 23 years old or older in their rookie season. So now that we got the criteria oh, okay, okay. and the players, let's get into this. For the first category, we have the combined total of points per game, assists per game, and rebounds per game from each player's best season before the age of 23. And right off the bat, Luka takes the lead with a total of 47 combined points, rebounds, and assists per game, which he set last season when he averaged 29.9-9. LeBron came in second with 45, and Shaq came in third with 44.9. Next, we have all-star appearances. And to my surprise, only these 12 players have multiple all-star appearances before the age of 23. LeBron and Kobe are the only players to have three all-star nods in every- Man, look at, look at Kobe, man. So inspirational. Everyone else is tied for seconds with two. What's crazy here is that only one player in NBA history has made an NBA all-star team as a teenager. And that was Kobe. Now, mm. this next category- mm. Now, would you look at that? Mm. Disagree, story is interesting playoff win shares which is a statistic that sums up the overall wins a player helped contribute in the playoffs i chose playoff win shares as opposed to regular season win shares because the best players tend to rise up in the postseason when it matters most while others tend to shrink in these bigger moments and in this category the number one spot goes to magic johnson which if you're familiar with his postseason heroics early in his career this doesn't surprise you LeBron came in second with 5.4 playoff win shares before the age of 23, and Jason Tatum came in third with 4.4, the only okay, player in his generation Jason. to crack this category. Next is the marquee performance category, which is just the best game from each player before their 23rd birthday. To measure the quality of each player's best game, I used the game score stat. If you're not familiar, the game score stat measures all the good things and all the bad things a player did in a game and gives that game a score. The higher the score, the better. And in this category, there is a very yeah, Devin Booker clear gotta win. be at the top, bro. For 20, Chris is 0 for 7. Booker, take 70 Booker at that age away. is crazy, bro. That's so crazy. Like, wait, that's what's scaring. Be book for three. Well, 42 bye and bye. a half. Here we go. Bye bye. In first place is yeah, Devin that's Booker. Crazy. Who crazy? 70 at that age is crazy, bro. But just 20 oh, years old, had one of the best games in NBA history. In second is Shaq, with a game score of 48.7, which came from a game in just his second season in the league, where he dropped 53 and 18 on 71% shooting. 53 
on 71% shooting in your second season? And in third is Carl Anthony Towns with a game score of 46 that came from a 56 and 15 performance in just his third NBA season. The mm. next category is win shares per 48. Again, a stat that isn't widely ref. The next cat bro, Anthony category Davis, is win shares. Never go back to this bro, ever again, bro. Shares per 48. Again, a stat that isn't widely referenced in mainstream basketball culture, but it should be because it might just be the best statistic in terms of determining a player's value to winning. Simply put, this stat shows us how many wins a player contributes to their team each game. And in this category, Anthony Davis tops the chart, followed by Shaquille O'Neal and a player that has faded into the background over the last few years, Amari Stoudemire. But if you watched a young Amari in the mid 2000s, you would know just how important he was to the success of the powerhouse that was the Phoenix Suns. Now, this next category really displays the star power of the best 22 year olds to ever play, and that's MVP votes. And taking the top spot is yeah, the Rose. youngest MVP <laughs> in league history, Derrick Rose, who in just one season racked up 1,182 MVP votes, more than any of these players did in two, three, and in some cases, four seasons. In mm. second is LeBron James with 975, and in third is Kevin Durant with 799. Keep in mind that although this season isn't over, Luka is projected to finish 8th in MVP votes, which we can assume is about 25, give or take. And the last but possibly most important category is leadership. We have seen a lot of young talented players in the NBA throughout the years, but what really separates the good ones from the great ones is their ability to rally the troops, yeah, I ain't to gain the trust of their and, team uh, and staff, and turn and a LeBron franchise around. Be the top, and bro. there really is no definitive way of measuring a player's leadership qualities. So for this category, I took the liberty of just ranking them myself. It's not perfect, but it's my channel. And there's nothing you can do about it. Yep. So in first place is Magic Johnson, who I at just it. 20 years old joined one of the most successful franchises in NBA history with a star-studded cast and still managed to come out as Look their at franchise. Look at this shot he just hit. NBA and that was a that was a that was a buzzer history. beater too, bro. With a star-studded cast and still managed to come <laughs> out as their leader on their way to a championship. In seconds is That's LeBron, crazy. who dragged this ragtag bunch to the finals and had the entire city of Cleveland believing they were watching Jesus Christ in a basketball jersey. And in third is Luka, who has shown us all that with minimal help, he can guide a franchise to the playoffs and put up a fight against all NBA talents in just his third NBA season, a feat reserved for only the most elite players to ever lace up. So now that we've discussed and ranked all 28 players across all seven categories, who is the greatest 22 year old NBA player of all time? Well, I've got a chart for that. Near the bottom, you've got the great near all time young talent, McGrady, Dirk, Duncan, Garnett. Then there's this gap between these 17 players and the greatest young talent in league history. Michael Jordan, Carl Anthony Towns cracks the top 10 along with Amari Stoudemire, Kobe, Anthony Davis, Derrick Rose, hey, go top? a bit higher and you've got the kid that inspired this entire experiment, Luka Doncic. And right above him is the Mount Rushmore of 22 year old hoopers. Oh my God, where's Magic LeBron? Magic Johnson, Kevin Durant, Shaquille O'Neal. Oh my God, where's LeBron? And LeBron James. Oh my God. Pretty much in a league of his own. This is what I consider to be the best 22 year olds ever. Luka near the top, but not quite as incredible as a few others. Going into this, my prediction to come out on top was LeBron. Partially because I'm a LeBron stan, but mostly because if you watched a young LeBron James in his first four NBA seasons, you would understand why he's the best 22 year old we've ever seen. As great as he still is after all these years, LeBron has really slowed down in the past few seasons. He's less mm -hmm. airborne, his defense is spotty at best sometimes, he tends to pick his spots a bit more methodically now than he used to, and he's dialed it down a few notches in an effort to preserve his health and energy. But when this man was 22, he was like a 6 foot 8 inch, 240 pound bull in a china shop. Fast, strong, explosive, and smart with an underrated shooter's touch. He was dominant on offense and pesky on defense. For a stretch there, LeBron had his hands in so many aspects of the game night in and night out that if you gave him the yeah, starting five LeBron of your local crazy, high school basketball bro. team and told him to make it work, you'd seriously consider the fact that he'd still make a playoff run. It has been a long time since we've seen a young LeBron James, but for those who were there to witness it live, you know exactly why he was getting goat talks the moment he entered the league. Look at this. This video is not sped up. He is too damn big to be moving like that. 
In just three <laughs> seasons, LeBron took the Cavaliers from the worst team in the NBA with 17 wins to a 50 win championship contender. That, yeah, that, that, that was crazy, bro. I can't lie. And in just four seasons, he took them to the finals, sweeping the Wizards with prime Gilbert Arenas and Antoine Jameson, mm. beating the Nets in six with prime Vince Carter and Jason Kidd, mm. and beating a loaded Pistons squad in six. Mm. By the time he was 20, he already made all NBA second team, which means LeBron was virtually a top 10 player in the NBA before he could legally drink. Combine that with his star power and his crazy numbers, and you've got the greatest young hooper the game has ever seen. And if we take a look at our top 10, there's a few things worth noting. Luka finished in fifth, which is about where I expected him to finish. Because as great as Luka has been so far in his young career, the four players that finished above him were slightly better at 22 years old. Shaq, who to my surprise finished in second, was putting up 29-13-3 in just his second NBA season and finished fourth in MVP voting in his second NBA season. Yeah, that's Kevin Durant crazy. finished in third. And again, if you saw a young Durant play, you'd understand why he came out slightly ahead of Luka. People tend to forget that Durant was only 18 years old when he was drafted. And by the time he was 22, he already had two scoring titles, was runner up in the MVP race, and made it to the conference finals. And at just 21 years old, Kevin Durant already made first team all NBA. Then there's Magic Johnson at fourth, who led the Lakers to not one, but two NBA championships by the time he was 22, averaging a near triple double in the playoffs, which is an accomplishment that is almost impossible to even imagine in today's NBA. Just think about by the end of this postseason, Luka already had two rings, which leaves Luka at fifth. He's already made first team all NBA. He has the most absurd stat lines of anyone on this list, and he already has a handful of hardwood classic playoff performances. He isn't quite the best we've ever seen at this age, bro, but he is certainly nasty, amongst the most oh elite company God. a player could be a part of. Spots sixth through 10th also feature some all time great players. Derrick Rose finished in sixth, which just solidifies his title as the NBA's greatest what if story the youngest MVP in league history. The great Kobe Bryant is a no-brainer on this list. By That's 22, crazy, yeah, no already made three all-star teams and was the ultimate closer on arguably the best team in NBA history. Amari Stoudemire finished in ninth, and just like Derrick Rose, Amari is among the NBA's greatest what-ifs. All NBA talent by the time he was 22 and was on a trajectory to become the league's best big man before injuries took his career hostage. And rounding out our top 10 is Carl Anthony Towns, who hasn't been notably great recently, but also hasn't had devastating injuries like Rose and Amari. Well, just a few years ago, Towns had the entire NBA convinced he was the next in line as the league's best big man. Don't believe me? Well, in 2017, the NBA asked GMs around the league that if given the chance, who would they choose to rebuild their team around? 19% of GMs said LeBron, 21% said Giannis, and as the overwhelming favorite, 29% of GMs said they would build their team around a 21-year-old Carl Anthony Towns. Okay, that's crazy. Those same GMs also voted him as the league's best center. So I'd say he fits in well in this top 10. So I guess that answers the question. Is Luka Doncic the greatest 22-year-old basketball player to ever play the game? Probably not. But top five ain't bad at all, especially yeah, when the four guys bad. ahead of you are LeBron, Shaq, Durant, and Magic. Luka has a shot to be one of the greatest players of all time. He's quickly checking off all the, this guy might be one of the best we've ever seen boxes. And he's just getting started. What do y'all think of this top 10 list? What changes would you make? Do you agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comments below. Nah, this and was, as this always, was official, bro. until next time. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be the end of this video, bro. Like, comment, subscribe, and we out, cuz.